Yeah, hello and welcome to this After Effects tutorial for marmoworld.com. Today it's the time of the Nap Show and at Nap Adobe is presenting the new features that you can expect to be in the next version of After Effects that comes after CS6. And I have this new version already installed here and I want to show you some of the new great features and what I want to show you in this video in particular is the improvements of the 3D camera tracker. So I have here uh, some clip and I want to track the camera. So I go as usual to animation track camera. And now it starts analyzing in the background as normal and determines all the track points. And now the tracker finishes or finished and you can see all the track points here appearing and disappearing in the view. And we can, for example, go here to advanced to the, the average error 1.25 pixels, which I find quite okay in this case. So, and as the old tracker, the new one usually works pretty nicely. And also in this case, we get a pretty good solve of this clip. What is great about the new version is that you can improve your track by removing track points that don't help the tracker to solve. Um, so in this case, I, or you could expect that the tracker also finds some track points here uh, on the car itself. And as the car moves in the scene, this would not help um, to, uh, to track the scene. In this case, you can see there are actually no track points, so there's nothing to improve. But assume that, for example, let's say these three track points here would be on a moving object that would disturb the tracker yeah, from actually solving, then you could just select them. And if you have uh, enabled here, um, where is the option? Auto delete points across time, then if you select them and simply hit the delete key, they are removed and they are removed from the entire shot. Yeah, from the beginning to the end, these points um, are now uh, not used anymore. So this means usually your track works pretty well, but the old version in CS6 had somehow the issue that in case it didn't work, it was very hard to improve the track. And now this is very easy. Just delete the points that you don't want to include in the track and the solve is automatically repeated and everything works smoothly. Another new feature is that you can set or orient your world in the scene. Yeah? If you remember, I myself developed a little tool called Orient World that you get at a name your own price basis uh, at my website or at a scripts also. And um, now part of this functionality is also already built in into the tracker itself. But let me first show you what the actual problem was. So let's say we want to have here some plane uh, like this one. I right click and say create solid and camera. And now we have here some plane that is moving with the scene and we have some camera. Maybe let me scale this a bit down to make it a bit smaller, like this. And now let's say we want to start placing other objects in the scene. Yeah? Let me create just some text, call this test for example, and make it 3D. And now um, let's set it at the origin. I reveal the position and set it to the position 0, 0, 0. Uh, and now you can see it, it, it is somehow gone in space. Yeah, our point zero, zero, zero is here somewhere in space, far away from the place where uh, we want to have it. Yeah, actually even outside of our visible range here. And now you can change this with the camera tracker. Uh, and you do it as follows. You select the camera tracker effect. And let's go again to a point where we have nice uh, track points like this and say we want, um, where's a good plane? Let's maybe choose another frame. Let's say at this point we want um, the origin of our coordinate system, the point zero, zero, zero to be. Now you can right click and say set ground plane and origin. Now you get a warning that already created cameras and layers will not be affected. Would you like to continue? And I say yes, and now nothing happened. And still my test text here is way uh, uh, away, yeah, far, far away. It's still where it was before, here. But now if I create a new camera, so what I have to do is I actually have to delete my old camera, select again my camera uh, or my tracker actually, 
and say uh, right click here somewhere and say again uh, set create solid and camera yeah? and now you can see my old solid this was this one is uh, far away somewhere else where it was not before but I have now a new solid that is placed here in the scene and my text that I've placed at 000 is exactly where I have set before the point 000. Maybe let me get rid of this solid here. So in other words, the nice thing is you can say here is the center of my coordinate system and then if you place some object there, like here this text, then it will stay at exactly this location. And also it's like your axis, yeah, your uh, z-axis is now nicely here along the street, the y-axis is perfectly uh, up pointing and the x is pointing here more or less to the side. So um, before it could happen that you have a track and these axes are uh, somewhere in space, yeah, like the z-axis pointing uh, in some diagonal direction or whatever. Still, I also recommend to use the tool Orient World. I don't think that its functionality is replaced now by this new feature uh, due to several reasons. So the first one is in the advanced settings of this Orient World, you have this nice feature to show, to visualize your coordinate system. Yeah, you can do this. And then maybe here in this case, the axes are a bit long. So maybe set them to 200. Now you get a pretty good feeling. So these are 200 uh, pixels and this is the Z direction, this is the X direction, and this is the Y direction. And you can also move your coordinate system later and in contrast to the feature of, um, of the camera tracker. So in the camera tracker if you go here and say hmm now I want to have my center of the world like here, right click and if I would now say set ground plane and origin the test layer and everything else would not move and the camera would not move and you had to create everything newly. Yeah? New test layer, new camera and so on. With Orient World you can just say something like I want my camera or my, my world to move uh, 300 pixels along the x-axis. Apply and now it is moving here and everything stays where it is. Yeah? It's not like I replace my coordinate system and now this layer jumps uh, where, wherever else uh, in space, but the camera stays correct and or the camera is adjusted and all other layers in the scene are adjusted and they stay exactly where they are. And similarly, you can also rotate. Yeah, you can see, hmm, this is not really the direction I want this axis to be. I step by step rotate around this axis here. Uh, of course, in this case, it, it doesn't really make sense. So we can undo these rotations what would might uh, would make uh, more sense is to rotate around the y-axis maybe uh, to say hmm how should this here be located maybe I want it to point in this direction and so on so in other words after setting the world uh, with the camera tracker it's easy to fine-tune the position with the help of orient world you can even scale it and another important aspect is that Orient World can work with two different modes. One where the world center is a comp center or where the world center is zero, zero, zero. Yeah? Comp center is like zero in X, as uh, zero in Z, but X and Y is just half of the composition width and half of the composition height. Yeah? In other words, we don't have our comp center if we think in terms of 2D here at the point zero, zero, but we have it here in the middle, yeah? middle of the width middle of the height. And while when you work with 3D programs it's often most convenient I think to have the um, world center at 0, 0, 0, having it at comp center is what really makes sense when you work with 3D plugins like Element 3D or um, Shapeshifter or whatever else. Yeah, so these, if, if your 3D element object should appear in the center of the world you cannot make it at 0, 0, 0 because usually these element 3D objects don't show up here at the corner but they show up here in the middle. Yeah? And then to make them appear at your coordinate system center where you put it, you need to choose this mode here. Yeah? Currently the implementation I have here from this new feature of the camera tracker that will be in the next version of After Effects 
uh, is implemented such that it only works with comp center at 000. Of course, I don't know whether this might change. Maybe you also get these two options or it will be changed to default to the comp center. Uh, we will see. Anyway, note that with Orient World, you have the flexibility to do all of this also already in CS6. Of course, in the new version, it will be more convenient to have this right built in to quickly set your camera or your, your world origin before tracking. And in particular for me, really the best improvement of the camera tracker is that you can, again, delete these track points in the scene. Yeah, That you say, okay, if there are some track points irritating my tracker, in CS6 you couldn't really do much about it, uh, about improving the track. And now this is really easy. Just delete all like wrong track points and it is automatically solved again and will be much better. Okay, this was just an overview now over the track, uh, the camera tracker improvements. I have many other tutorials showing other new features of this next version of After Effects. And one thing that is related to this and that we are going to look at next is the great Cinema 4D features. Yeah, A light version of Cinema 4D is now uh, bundled with After Effects, included in After Effects, and also the integration between the two tools is much better. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you're joining again for the next one showing these new Cinema 4D features.